let us look at our next model two or more people working on alternate days alternate days model let us take one example arun and vinay can do a work in 12 days and 36 days respectively if they work on alternate days beginning with arun then in how many days will the work be will the work get completed arun can complete the work in 12 days and vinay can do the work in 36 days they are working on alternate days starting with arun right arun's one day work is 1 by 12 vinay's that is we will take it as v one day work is equal to 1 by 36 important concept they are working on alternate days starting with arun that means first day arun is working second day vinay will work again arun third day vinay fourth day next fifth day arun sixth day vinay arun vinay arun vinay so on both of them are not working on the same day they are working on two different days first day arun next day vinay third day arun fourth day vinay they are working in rotational basis now in how many days is the total work completed now consider arun and vinay as one time period in this one time period arun working for one day vinay working for one day that is one time period is equal to two days let us find out arun plus vinay's one time period work we cannot find out their one day work because they are working on two different days so let us take these two different days let us consider as one time period so one time period is equal to two days friends don't always think that one time period will be two days if there are three people a b and c they work in rotation first day a second day b third day c then consider those three people as one time period that one time period is equal to a for one day b working for one day c working for one day so one time period is equal to three days similarly if there are four people one time period is equal to four days sometimes in the question we come across like this a working for first hour b working for second hour they working on alternate hours again third hour a fourth hour b so consider a and b as one time period one time period will be two hours 1 plus 1 it is 2 hours so one time period need not be always two days it depends on the number of people working in rotational basis now let us consider arun plus vinay's one time period work in this one time period arun working for one day and vinay working for one day arun in one day he will complete 1 by 12th of the work plus vinay in one day will complete 1 by 36 so lcm is 36 we get 4 by 36 that is nothing but 1 by 9 so arun plus vinay in one time period they are completing 1 by 9th of the work so total work is completed in reciprocal 9 not days not days 9 time periods this 1 by 9 is not one day work what is this 1 by 9 friends it is one time period work don't make this mistake work is not completed in 9 days work is completed in nine time periods one time period is equal to how many days two days so nine time periods 9 into 2 total work is completed in 18 days that means like this they will work for nine cycles then the work is completed we can solve the same question using lcm method now let us try this question using lcm method a working for 12 days and b is working for 36 days lcm of 12 comma 36 that is 36 units let us assume 
total work is equal to 36 units. Now, per day A will do 36 by 12, 3 units and B will do 1 unit. They are working on alternate days. First day Arun, next day Vinay, third day Arun, fourth day Vinay. They are coming in a rotational basis. So, what did we say? Consider these two people, Arun and Vinay, as one time period. So, one time period is equal to Arun working for one day, Vinay working for one day. So, it is equal to two days. Let us find out Arun plus, this is Vinay, sorry. Arun plus Vinay's one time period work. This is not one day work, this should be one time period work. In one time period, Arun is doing three units and Vinay working for one day is doing one unit. So, three plus one, they are doing four units. See here friends, these four units is not their per day work. What are these four units? They are completing in one time period. They have to complete how many units? 36 units. So, Arun plus Vinay will take 36 by 4, it will be 9 time periods. It is not days, 9 time periods. So, 9 into each time period is 2 days. So, it will be 18 days. Let us look at one more example on alternate days. A and B working separately can do a piece of work in 15 and 20 days respectively. They work on alternate days starting with A on the first day. In how many days will the work be completed? Now, A can complete the work in 15 days and B can do the same in 20 days. Let us solve this question using our unitary approach. A's one day work is 1 by 15. B can complete the same work in 20 days. So, B's one day work is 1 by 20. They are working on alternate days starting with A. That means, first day A, second day B, again A, B, A, B so on, they will come and work in rotational basis till the work is completed. Let us consider A and B as one time period. In this one time period, A is working for one day, B is working for one day. So, one time period is equal to two days. Let us find out A plus B is one time period work. In this one time period, A working for one day, that is 1 by 15, B working for one day, 1 by 20. So, LCM is 60. So, it is 4 plus 3, 7 by 60. Yes, friends, do not immediately say 60 by 7 as the answer. Here, they are working in rotational basis. If you 7 goes, Maximum how many times here? 8 times. 7 8 is 56 and 7 9 is 63. That means, work is not completed in exact number of cycles. So, 7 goes maximum how many friends? How many times friends? 8 times. So, 7 into 8 56. So, after 8 time periods that is 8 into 2 16 days remaining work is equal to 4 out of 60, 7 8s are 56, so 4 out of 60 is remaining that is 1 by 15. Now, to have little more clarity to avoid confusion, I will tell you one short method to how to identify the number of time periods and remaining work. If it is 7 by 60, generally what will we do? We divide 7 with 60. Here, we need to do the exactly opposite. Take 7, divide 60. 7 goes maximum 8 times 56. 60 minus 56 is 4. The quotient will give us number of time periods 
and the remainder will give us the remaining work. That means after 8 time periods that is 18 to 2 16 days remaining work is 4 out of total 60. 4 by 60 is nothing but 1 by 15. So, 16 days are completed after 16 days how much work is left over 1 by 15. Yes friends who has to come to work now after 8 time periods who will come to work. Now, if you see here after one time period A is coming to work, after two time periods A is coming to work, after three time periods who will come to work? A will come to work. In general after n time periods the person who is starting the work will come to work. After n time periods also the person who is starting the work will come to work. Here in the question what is given A is starting the work. So, after 8 time periods who will come? A will come. Now, in one day A will do how many, how much work? 1 by 15th of the work. How much work is remaining? 1 by 15. That means A will take one more day. So, total work is completed in 16 plus 1, 17 days. Right friends, we can also solve this question using our LCM method. Let us try solving this question using LCM method. A can complete the work in 15 days and B can do the same in 20 days. What is LCM of 15 comma 20? 60. Let us say total work is equal to 60 units. Let us find out per day A will do how many units? 60 by 15 A will do 4 units and B will do how many units? 3 units. Now A and B together they will do how many units? 4 plus 3 7 units. This 7 units they will do in how many days? In 2 days because they are working in alternate days starting with A. So, first day A, second day B, then A, then B. Consider A and B as one time period. This one time period is equal to 1 plus 1, 2 days. So, A plus B together they are completing 7 units of work in one time period. That is nothing but in 2 days they are doing 7 units of the work. That is in one time period. What is the total work? 60 units. So, they will do in how many days, how many time periods? 7 goes maximum 8 times. So, in 8 time periods, 7 goes maximum 8 times. In 8 time periods, A plus B will do how much mark? 7 into 8, that is 56 units. A and B together in one time period, they are doing 7 units. What is the total work to be completed? 60 units. So, 7 goes maximum 8 times here. So, in 8 time periods A and B complete 7 into 8, 56 units. So, what is the remaining work? Remaining work is equal to 4 units, 60 minus 56, 4 units. After 8 time periods who will come to work? Already we have discussed. The person who is starting the work will come to work. So, A will come to work. In one day A will do 4 units. So, how much work is remaining? 4 units. So, A can complete this in one more day. So, total work is completed in 16 that is 8 time periods that is 16 days plus 1 day. So, it is equal to 17 days.